Jess from Roots and Refuge always says, turn your waiting room into a classroom. Well, this beautiful place here in the Pacific Northwest has been our classroom. In a lot of ways, it feels like we're just moving to a bigger classroom. I know a lot of people don't watch completely through to the very end, but at the end of this video, I've got a special announcement for our channel. So please do watch to the end or fast forward and just watch the end. What a beautiful morning. The fish were jumping in the pond. Deer were running through our yard. I know folks out there have been praying that we would find just the right property for our new homestead. I feel blessed to have found this place. It feels to me that we were led here for a purpose and at just the right time. Are you ready to see the new place? Thirty nine point four acres with a good mix of open pasture and mature forest. There are three ponds, two are stocked. We've got fruit and nut trees. I was desperately hoping 
<clears throat> I was desperately hoping to be seduced by the beauty of a place, and my dreams have been exceeded. Right now, because we're moving, the place is pretty much a disaster. So, I can't show anything on camera, but if you're curious, you can check out the video of us first looking at this place. The livable house was built in 1980, but there's still a sense of history here because the abandoned structures of the original homestead are still standing. I don't know if this place would have been your first choice, but it definitely was for us. There were some other good places to choose from. The very first place we looked at had the best barn, but that alone wasn't enough if the rest of the place just didn't feel like home to us. Several of the places had full or nearly full wraparound porches. This place has a big screened in porch with such a good view that it just says welcome home when you see it from the driveway and especially when you're sitting in it looking back out. Some of the lots we looked at were larger, some smaller, but none were more beautiful. The land here slopes down to the south, which is ideal sun exposure for growing our own food. We almost made an offer on that 80 acre place in Arkansas, the one with the really old log cabin in front. That place just would have needed more work than we could probably afford to do, especially considering what we would have had to spend to buy it in the first place. Also, the land there was mostly just good for grazing, not so much for growing our own garden. There were houses and land that had more usable infrastructure and that would not have needed as much, if any, remodeling to make the place really feel like home. But we can do some of those things here and in the end, I think, end up with a place that feels even better to us. If anyone out there was taking notes, you may have noticed that we skipped place number 13. That was the only place that I dedicated an entire video to. I almost made an offer on that place, but Wendy felt pretty strongly that the house just wasn't quite big enough for us. The owners were super friendly and had originally come from the Pacific Northwest, just like us. So they showed us around, answered all of our questions, we just really hit it off with them. They did end up selling soon after we saw the place to someone who preferred I just not publicly post that video. Right now, the only downside I can see to this place is deciding where to point my camera when I'm doing these YouTube segments. I just don't think there's a bad place to point the camera. I'm really grateful that we saw all of those other properties that we did before we found this one. It just gives me a better perspective and an appreciation for what we have here. We arrived back here in Missouri yesterday for the house signing. It takes us about three days to get here from Oregon City and we brought another trailer load of things of course. As it turns out, we spent our first night in the new place last night, and this morning, it's my birthday. It's a pretty nice birthday gift. There is a lot of this place that I haven't even seen yet. A lot of land to explore. We have some ideas about what we want to do with the place and how we're going to use different animals in different areas. I look forward to sharing that with you in future videos. It'll take us a while to settle in and uh, we're gonna start slow. So there's a lot of good stuff coming down the road. This trip out here to Missouri is just a quick one. We're not here to stay yet. We still have to go back to Oregon City and get that place ready to sell. We're taking care of a few things while we're out here. Besides buying the house, we're also going to open a bank account and get insurance. The top thing on the list, though, 
is getting goat enclosures, temporary goat enclosures ready. This area will be for our does. Just use some new cattle panels and T posts and a new gate. This should keep them in there nice and safe. This is just temporary. We have plans to put in more permanent fencing around the outside for the does and around the outside for our bucks. So they have a little bit more access to grass and browsing opportunities. We don't have quite as much room in here for the bucks, but we don't have as many of them. When we do put in the more permanent fencing, we'll probably use these new gates somewhere along that perimeter. Obviously, we want the goats to have free access to the shelter and to be outside when they want. We're also thinking ahead about milking the goats. We'd like to set up a building of some sort for milking to stay dry and real close by to where the goats are gonna be. Right here on this side is the location that we have in mind. We do need to get electricity out here because we don't want to do hand milking. We'd like to use the automated milking machines. Fortunately, power poles are right there. So it should be relatively easy to drop a line. We haven't looked into that yet though. There's a lot to do. There'll be a lot to see in future videos. On this trip, we've had a freezer delivered so on a subsequent trip, we can bring out meat and have a place to safely put it right away. We've also had a consultation for some home remodeling work, which mostly just tells us how much we can't afford to do right now. I also need to get a new uh, Missouri driver's license. So there's a lot of little things to do. It's also fun just to spend a little time out here, just soaking it in. I know Wendy would say the same thing. It'd be nice to just be able to stay here this time. But there's things we gotta do. We brought the extra refrigerator from our old garage with us on this trip, just so we'd have a refrigerator here that we can work with. Whether or not we bring out that extra freezer from our old place depends on negotiations with the new buyer. There is room for a second extra freezer out here. I've been asked what my very first project will be out here. I'm assuming you don't count just moving boxes into the house, and that was a project, let me tell you, and it's not done yet. Right above the fridge and off to the side was a cabinet and a kick sideboard that just made the space that that did have a refrigerator a little too small for the standard size. So Wendy asked me to remove that cabinet. We'll have more room for a regular size fridge we need to get a refrigerator anyway, so we might as well get one that's big enough for us. Besides that, it is early fall out here, and there is just a super abundance of nut trees, particularly walnuts. I cannot count how many walnut trees we have. This bucket is just one of about six that I collected just around a couple of trees. I don't have any more buckets. I don't know what we're gonna do with all these walnuts. Right here in the front yard, 
We have a really big persimmon tree. And that one right there is a pecan tree. All of these pecans were just right underneath that one tree. Ivy Acres Homestead is back in Oregon City. We decided since we're doing a, a real restart with our lives that we'd do a restart with our channel. We've decided on a new name. We picked one that reflects the tranquility and peace that we hope to find at this new place for ourselves. Welcome to Simple Moon Farm. This bell was given to us by our old neighbor, Jenny. It's our first official housewarming gift here at the new place. I've got good news to share. You are more capable than you probably know. Your dreams are closer than the moon. Thank you very much for taking this trip around the moon with us.